arrive in the final province of your journey. Ooh, that's whimsical. <laughs> the pilgrims arrive in the final province on their journey to collect the heart uh, for the life tree. The northern mountainous floating city of Aguna, where the roots of Quarencia are at their most exposed and thus their most magical. The roots instill into the land and structures properties of the wind, uh, suspending them in the air as if the effects of gravity were completely foreign to them. And as such, the architects uh, of Aguna have built extremely tall structures to reach and take advantage of the vertical infrastructure that they've been given. And thanks to the exposed roots, a very privileged and qualified few are allowed harvesting of materials from the roots in order to produce Alinthi's most potent and powerful of spell scrolls and tomes. It's no wonder Aguna is also known for being the premier province for those who wish to further their skills and understanding of the arcane. And along with it, Alinthi's largest library of information, history, and magic. Not only that, the roots provide some manner of transport as well, as the wind-imbued powers of this region give strong currents that allow even those without wings to travel aerially and reach the sky-ridden buildings. What? You can see that there are various different uh, places of kind of uh, spots for people to leap off where wind currents kind of take them almost like a tube <laughs> towards uh, another part of the city. Although I'm this does seem to here. require some sort <laughs> of understanding of uh, where different parts and landings are, else you get completely lost in the city. And as for the base, connecting the mortal structures of the natural ground is the creatively named Bridgetown, a collection of barely spaced buildings attached to the bridge that leads to the gate into the city proper, and one rife for tourism. It is the primary path by which all that enter Aguna must cross, which means it can often get crowded, and today is no different. It is there that we find the pilgrims in search of Aguna's previously assigned dragon, a 120-year-old elven woman by the name of Esperanza. One of the facilities is a stable where you may park your horses and cart that JPEG if you so wish as well, uh, as many tourists come in on various different mounts and they need a place to place uh, their transport, else it further crowd the inner part of the city. Correct me if I'm wrong, our plan was to pretend that word is dead and to allow word to kind of go about his business. I uh, think we were generally? planning on Well, I think we were planning on doing that when we got to Aguna proper, not Bridgetown, but got this it. is a little oh, closer yeah, yeah, to yeah. Aguna proper yeah. than I, I realized, but I think I, I think the plan's still workable. Grandma. Yeah. Okay, so let's go to grandma first. We are going to grandma's. House. <laughs> 120 year old elf Keep is barely in... grandma. Yeah, no, she's age. super young. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we are keep, uh, we're keeping a low profile, I, I assume, or trying to? Well, low-ish. Yeah. Uh, we'd like there to were... not be identified as like, oh yeah, all four pilgrims are here when we rock up in Aguna and be like, Word died uh, on his way back to his home planet. <laughs> like, we oh, don't want to... Yeah. <laughs> there were wizards dashing across the skies while we were camping. Oh, I forgot to mention They could oh, yeah. have already informed them that we were coming. No, they didn't see us. We were extra I know, stealth. but still, they know that we're headed here, so... There's probably information already here about us. Mm, maybe. Well, lucky or unlucky for you guys, there is actually uh, a way that you guys can do that. And that is through a skill challenge. So, the bridge is crowded with travelers, merchants, uh, traveling merchants, and local ones as well. Families and friends laughing and gossiping and chatting. Uh... All the while, there's some gentle, flaky snowfall, and the road and buildings of Bridgetown are hustling and bustling. And finding the retired dragon will be no easy task, being what celebrity status she must have. You could spend all day uh, asking around, but searching around, you also spy a few knights of House Baztan from Trevisetta, likely uh -oh. in pursuit of you. They thankfully do not spot you yet and seem to be having some sort of disagreement with the local guards of Aguna. So you will be using your skills to navigate and find clues as to the whereabouts of Esperanza as best you can while simultaneously trying to avoid the authorities. 
With five successes, you will be able to find her current location without too much trouble. But with three failures, you may draw some unwanted attention from those who are searching for you with ill intent. Mm. Oh, boy. So Red tent us, the cat, we're going flying. <laughs> let us oh, the uh, begin the turn order, and uh, you Holy could shit. add yeah. yourselves Can you put us on the, this? Uh, yeah, hold on. Let me... Oh, I should have myself. Yeah, you can just drag uh, yourselves yes. in. Go to the little journal oh, yeah. book. Yeah, thing, yeah, I got it. And then you just drag your little screen on. Okay. Just so we have a turn order. Now we're Whoa, you, you still <laughs> You still <laughs> have two Uh-oh. levels of exhaustion, so you Uh oh. Oh right. <laughs> still be rolling skill checks at disadvantage. Okay, that's that's pretty good. That's pretty hmm. good. Can I um I don't I don't know if this would have to count as one of my turns. But I would like to use my bolstering magic to uh, give him uh, to give word a, a extra D three for ten minutes. Oh, is that repeated use or just once? Yeah, yeah. So for ten minutes, yeah, 10 minutes. Um, cool. while he's making ability checks, he can add a D three, roll a D three, add it to the D twenty roll. Oh wow, that's really good. Then yeah, you may do that if you so wish. And I can only use it on him on each one of my party members. They can only gain the benefits for a long rest. So I will. Hmm. So, uh, yeah, also I'll give that to Word, and I'll try to remember, remind you, because I don't know if you want to add a little icon or something. Yeah, but I'll remember. But I, I touch, I touch his hand and I say, good luck. Thanks. I might need it. And I probably have it. So yes, Buck, you, the you, uh, you're up first. How do you want to try and search for the dragon? The old, the previous dragon. The X dragon. Are we searching for the dragon, or are we trying to get away from the guards, or both? A little bit of both. You're trying to search for the X dragon while avoiding the guards. That is why this is a ki- skill challenge, because if you fail three times, um, you might draw some attention. Meh. Can I Sly Cooper slash Assassin's Creed style my way on like the 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 water <laughs> side of the bridge so that I can kind of like kind of like crawl around to get past them and also like look in windows and stuff? What? Uh, you may. There is not any water because over the bridge is a tall abyss of oh. <laughs> nothingness down to the bottom it's of the crib. I see. Bro. I see. Um. <laughs> Maybe I don't want to do, do but, that. But I mean, then. you can crawl on the side of the bridge uh, if you wish. I don't want to metagame, but I have a really good <laughs> opener. If you would be okay with holding your action, uh, I'll hold. Can I? Can I hold my you action? You may. Yes. Yeah. I'll hold okay. my action. Okay. Cool. For my first trick, I would like to cast Pass Without Trace on all of us. <laughs> yes. Oh, all right. So that is a plus 10 bonus to dexterity slash stealth checks, and we cannot be tracked except by magical means, and we leave behind no tracks or other traces of passage. Wonderful. I'm going to say that lowers the DC of the skill challenge. Yes. Okay. Ooh. All right, carry on with your <laughs> Assassin's Creed plan. Yeah, and that's going to be, I-, I would count that as your turn as well, Lara. Well, yes, that yeah, was yeah, definitely. That, that I don't like turn. having to roll for skill challenges, but the benefit of being a spellcaster is sometimes you just get to do things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, that will not be a, a success or a failure, but it does bolster your ally's ability to do this. So, Buck, yeah. Yeah, is there is there like, I guess, um, along the bridge itself, is there like buildings that I can look into? Like, I guess my thought process is, is no one would expect me to be climbing along on the outside of the, on the like, the danger zone of the bridge. So Probably I could, like, not. Look in people. And people jump off the the sides all the time. They would assume oh. that you are uh, probably getting into one of the wind currents. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> I'll do that then. I'll Assassin's Creed it. <laughs> so what do you think that would be, a stealth check or? Uh, I can roll stealth or... or athletics or acrobatics. What do you You feel? have a plus 10 to stealth I'll right roll now. Ste- I roll disadvantage on stealth, but I'll still, uh, I'll still roll that. Oh, boy. Yeah, it will be with a plus 10. So 19. Oh. So 19. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, you're able to maneuver your way around and you do see kind of as you're traversing, since you're in a part of the city that people usually don't travel as they usually are in the wind currents or on the center kind of walking between all the shops and stores, um, you do hear whisperings about where the dragon might be. That is one success. Yay. Oh, oh, oh. Word. Oh, it's me. Okay. 
Um, I am going to just wear a big old cloak and walk around looking like a halfling with a pointy red nose. And um, at random people at full distance, a range of the spell message, I'm going to just start asking questions about where she is, uh, who she is, what she does. Just, uh, I'll use deception if I can and try and be like, this is your conscience speaking. <laughs> I need to know about the old dragon. You have knowledge that I don't have access yeah. to. <laughs> All right. Yeah. That'll... Your conscience knows how to make good choices, not information. Yeah, give me that deception with disadvantage. Ooh. Oh, that's a nat one. That is a nat one. Does a nat one automatically fail a skill check? Um, I would say yes. Okay. Because of the nature of how I'm going to do that once. And, uh, okay. yeah, so yeah. some whispering into people's ears, and they catch on <laughs> immediately that this is an outsider. This is someone using magic on me. I'm going to go tell the guards. You can see that some of them are raising suspicions and increasing the patrol routes around where you were. That's one failure. Oof. Oops. <laughs> Fritz. Um, pro probably a little too heavy to easily carry unless I turn into a cat, which I can do next round. I want to carry you up, because I feel like I know I could probably jump into the wind current and just use my little wings to kind of, you know, do bird things, but I don't want to leave you stranded. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm not stranded, it's just me with the rest of the party. <laughs> Okay, if I jump off, I'll be okay if you jump off. If your friends jumped off a bridge, would you? <laughs> <laughs> uh, some of my friends can fly, um, so probably not. Can I jump off the edge and kind of just expand my wings to use the wind current to just kind of glide and go? Yeah. Uh, is that the thing that you're going to try and do to try and learn about the dragon, or you just want to get a bird's eye view of the? I kind of want to scope out the area and see if maybe there's like signs being like general office there's like just kind of get a lay of the land you know maybe there's a thing that says the dragon's office you never know <laughs> okay um, I think that might be a perception check then okay does that sound good to you Whoa, Ooh, all right. Tasty. Ooh, that's another success. So, yeah. You, that might be a town hall. <laughs> you leap into the current, and it's almost like, you know how if you're a strong swimmer, you don't need floaties, but wearing floaties can make it easier to just kind of wade through the water. That's how it feels yeah. for you through this. You don't need these currents to fly, as you're very experienced, but it's able to carry you and make it kind of a nice, pleasurely little stroll in, you know, through, through the winds. And you are able to find the current dragon's office, just like every province has. Um, however, you also seem to spot somebody kind of walking around with a portrait of a, an elven woman, kind of similar to the description of what Jade had given you. And it seems as though they're walking away from a certain direction. You suspect that might be somewhat of the direction the, dra the old dragon might have been. Okay. Since... You know, Fantastic. either either a merchandiser or someone who posed with her to to get that. <laughs> that's three. She's out here getting her portrait painted. <laughs> that is no, that's two successes, one failure. There we go. Um, okay. Buck, your turn again. Hmm. Um. Can I just go up to someone and ask? <laughs> What a weird question. I mean, <laughs> like, I don't, under, I don't know. I don't <laughs> get the sense that it's bad to do that. So it is a like... very busy day. A lot of people are kind of doing their thing right now. So I would say with a persuasion, you can, if you can perhaps convince someone to okay. give you their time of day, since okay. this is a, a very uh, place full of commerce right now. And people get into where they need to be. Gotcha. I don't want to be interrupted by random tourists. Okay, yeah, you're able to grab a friendly face, and they uh, mention that they're not local, and they heard somewhere kind of around the underside of the bridge there are a few buildings that uh, you were able to get to, but they don't quite remember all the directions uh, other than it's somewhere around the belly of the bridge that there are a few buildings there. Thank you for your time. All right, that is three successes. Well done. Play run. Oh. We need more successes. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. Two more. 
Uh, okay. Uh. Hmm. <clears throat> this is very much not my area. Let's see. Uh. Are there any animals around here? The odd few here and there. There is a pet shop, so you, you know, can I see meant like, it. I like oh, wandering birds. pets? Like wild animals? Wild animals. No, unfortunately, this is a very, like, heavily civilization-filled place. Um, you probably could see the odd bird kind of perched. Uh, actually, a few birds. A few birds perched upon some of the roots, perhaps. Great. So. I would like to use speak with animals <laughs> to ask them if they've seen this one elf lady who probably has like weird magic vibes because she used to be a dragon. Okay, I would say either persuasion or animal handling of your choice. With right, advantage, well, we'll say, since you're speaking oh, with animals. Great, let me just mark off when I speak with animals real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, persuasion or animal handling. Animal handling is plus four. Let's try that. Heh. Oh! Oh, oh. Ooh, all right. Yeah, with, with I'm the, best friends with this bird now. With a crit, that, I'm going to say that's just two successes. All right. Yes. Um, so, yeah, you ask the birds, and they argue amongst themselves. Ooh, blue hair. No, purple hair. No, blue hair. And they're arguing until, like, one bigger bird comes to land on the same branch and kind of, like, squawks at them both before giving you precisely the location of the dragon. In fact, they actually like to watch her paint, according to them. Ooh. And well, she that's is, perfect. She has a little warehouse in the underside of the bridge. It give, uh, The bird, being a bird, having very good navigational skills, gives you precise directions to where you might uh, find her. Amazing. All right. That'll be the skill challenge. Well done. Yes. Yay. Okay. Whew. Glad I didn't have to roll again. <laughs> <laughs> you too sweepy. Yeah, those levels of exhaustion are no Don't joke. I would. Tired. So yes, you guys gather together and you're able to avoid the guards. Uh, they are still searching for you, but you are able to beeline straight to Esperanza, if you so wish. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Let's yeah. do it. Yeah. All right. So following the directions that you've been given, you follow the clues, uh, or rather just straight up directions, to what seems to be a warehouse uh, kind of hanging from the belly of the bridge. There are some wooden stairs leading there uh, and well protected by some stone guardrails. Uh, every few meters there, there is an opening for you to leap off in case you want to take an air current. And you find the entrance to the warehouse, which has its double doors wide open. And you hear humming from inside where you see an elven woman see, uh, who seems to be painting a mural on the back of the wall opposite the doors. To her side, there seems to be tons and tons of portraits, not just of her, but a bunch of people. Uh, very, very well made. Um, however, the mural she's painting on the wall, it seems pretty abstract in comparison. Lots of dim and dark neutral tones with only the hint of bright colors. And in contrast to her portraits, on a technical skill level, the mural looks terrible. Um, huh. But from the looks of it, the elven woman doesn't seem to mind at all. She doesn't seem frustrated. She seems in a state of meditation almost. And when she, she actually hears your footsteps as you approach, surprisingly, despite your past without a trace. Ooh. Yeah, wow. And she just calls out, one second, I uh, just have to add one more touch. And she splotches a big glob of paint from her brush onto the stone wall canvas. And uh, she taps her chin for a moment, then grabs a nearby paint bucket of the same color and just throws the entirety of the contents just onto the wall, <laughs> splashing it all over. Ah, that's much better. Uh, that's the kind of energy I was looking for. <laughs> messy. Yeah, messy. That's interesting. And uh, he hello. <laughs> Oh, hello. She turns around to you all, and you see the elf what? in full. Uh, I thought you're supposed to be dead. Throw up the portrait. <laughs> not yet, not yet. Not yet, not yet. A not fairly, so you see a fairly tall and athletically built elven woman with scars all across her body and face, and her left arm seems to be uh, replaced by a mechanical prosthetic with very huh. little uh, plating covering its circuitry, though it does appear that there's a thick layer of paint that covers it that it does the job just well enough. <laughs> She is. Oh. Uh, well, I'm in love. <laughs> yeah. No, that didn't take all long. Of, all of them? Yeah. 
howdy tourist uh, here for an autograph, a portrait, a group painting, or just to see my latest piece? Maybe several of the above, but first we have some questions. And uh, as I see her arm, can I make like a history or some kind of check to see if I recognize the, the handiwork? Yeah, you can. Go ahead. Cool. Uh, you do know that prosthetics... At a three. At a three. At oh, yeah, you can. Oh, okay. I don't know if the ten minutes... The ten minutes might be over. I don't um, know. Hmm. Actually, yeah. After the search, maybe it would be. Yeah. Okay, okay. Shoot. Okay. But it's you do know the prosthetics are not the most uncommon thing in all of Alinthi, although they are pretty pricey. But considering that you're in Aguna, the place that it's, like, mostly a lot of very accomplished scholars and maybe even in Politrios with very uh, yeah. accomplished inventors. It's not out of the question that, you know, if someone okay. were to get a fine reputation or get enough money, they could afford one. Hmm. Yeah. It'd be interesting to recognize Politrios' handiwork here. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right, then. I'm happy to answer any questions you got. Uh... So we uh, travel, do we just, what do we actually tell her? Yeah, it occurs to me, out of character, we have not discussed at all what we were planning on talking to her about. Then I am asking in character, what Uh, do we tell her? Hold on, we just need to confer really quickly. (laughs) Hold on, let's huddle up, huddle up, huddle up. up. All right, should I close my ears? No, that's okay, you just go back to Peyton. Lovely use of space and highlighting. Fuck, fuck. Sorry, what, what? She, she heard us come in. She's going to hear everything we're saying, no matter what. Oh, should I tell her to plug her ears? No, nah, I think we're kind of screwed in this situation. We didn't have any forethought, so we should just come clean. Uh, at I, least to her. I, 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 can, I can do that. She kind of takes off her two little red earrings. Mm. And oh. uh, she uh, just kind of waves over. All right, go ahead. That's really cool. That is a really trusting thing. We're being really sketchy here. I mean, should we? I think Step we one: I steal the earrings. And no, no, no. That's not. Property. Hold on. I, well, <laughs> you do what you want, but we got. Well, not exactly what you want. What? What do we? Very dangerous we, precedent to set. Before, uh, yes, I understand. Before that, are we, are we? I think we should just tell her, right? I mean, is that is that a good idea? What? What else are we gonna say? We've got some questions about some people that may be the pilgrims. I mean. <laughs> I think our job may be easier if we tell her that at least some of us are the pilgrims, but I believe we were attempting to judge what state she was in after presumably giving up her draconic nature to her successor, and she seems to be perfectly functional from my cursory glance. We we could just say we are pilgrims. I mean, there wasn't a lot of guards for a place that we'd be expected to come next. You think if we were wanted, there'd be a lot more guards? I mean, she's a former dragon. I don't think that they're completely worried about protecting her from us. I mean, I, I feel like she looks like she can handle herself. That's true. So we, just, we could just introduce ourselves as the pilgrims. I suppose All right. your question would be Let's if she's do about that to turn one. us in. But yes, yes, I suppose we might Fritz, well. Fritz, you're up then. You go. You say. Oh, okay. Sure, I'm great at this. Yeah. <clears throat> You got uh, this. Oh, I drew. Hold on. Gave I'm not Pinocchio. Nose. How do I just try this? I accidentally drew. She's lying. <laughs> select oh, no, select lying. the one bit. With the select tool, okay. you can. Okay. Um. <laughs> I I I uh gesture to take her hands out of her ears or to. Or to, put her earrings to, back yeah, in. Or, yeah, put her earrings back in. Or just speak louder. All right. <laughs> And she, she does so, and uh, kind of waiting patiently, kind of hands uh, just together across her front, and she seems very eager to hear what you have to say. Huh. Um, so, uh, it's, uh, it's lovely paintings. Uh, I guess introductions are in hand. You know, a group of people just walk up to you. Um, uh, no worries, I get that all the time, you know, celebrity status. Oh, I bet you do. You seem lovely. Um... So, we are the Pilgrims. Sure you're used to dealing with the Pilgrims. Oh, you know, I, I thought something about you seemed very familiar, because I heard some news, but uh, I don't know if you were given bad info, but I'm I'm not the dragon anymore. That'd be uh, Maranzio, the administrator of Aguna's Grand Library. Oh, oh that's interesting. Well, we, we know. Our, our primary curiosity is more um, some intelligence that we don't have. 
You used to be a dragon. What changed? Oh, well, um, let's see. Well, I just kind of got a little bit tired of it. You know, after doing it for 80 years, you uh, kind of want to do something else. And then she gestures over to the mural she's painting. And they just let you stop being a dragon? Well, yeah, after a lengthy procedure and a lot of paperwork, of course, it was a right mess. But, uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, after about 60 years into the service, I did meet a very skilled wizard tiefling boy who would become a very big nuisance to the Academy Mages, so I thought, hey, that's a good successor if I ever got tired of this, and as he grew up, I realized he is the best successor, so I thought, well, I'm not going to be here forever, might as well uh, give him some time in the spotlight, and I can get some time to myself. So you, you were able to just kind of choose your successor, and was there any kind of pushback from the... I guess the local government as to that choice? Well, they scrutinize him a lot. They make sure to do heavy background checks, make sure they're not doing anything shady. And of course, there's a whole process that we go through um, that I cannot speak into the details of. Sworn into secrecy, you understand. That's the part that we are no longer understanding properly. Well... Uh, one of the main questions I have, we're looking into the process of how these dragons are made because something doesn't quite smell right. And I want to know if you were given your powers and if you in turn gave them to him, or did something else happen? Whoa, well, I, I'd be very concerned if some sort of rumors spawned up out of all this, but I, I'm happy to regale you what I can, what I'm allowed to. Uh, as to the process that would be of becoming a dragon. Perfectly satisfactory. Please, we've we've Maybe we've we just been find we've just become slightly curious about the whole process. You understand? We've dealt with so many dragons at this point. Uh, curiosity springs eternal, I suppose. Oh, of course. I mean, you are at the place of learning, so uh, mm -hmm. have a little seat. I'll. Uh, ooh, I'm not the best storyteller, but I'll try my best. Uh, let's see. In order to gain the powers of a dragon, there are two methods. So, the first one is cultivation. You have to amass a great amount of power in some sort of way. That can be raw physical strength or martial prowess or arcanery, just about anything that gives you an edge in the world in a way that is vastly above the average. You, you know, Once you do, this power will naturally come to you, albeit in subtle ways. Maybe you jump a little farther than you could. Maybe you can hold your breath for an extreme length of time. Maybe uh, you can smash minerals that usually require specialized tools, that sort of stuff. But whatever it is, you've just started your journey to gaining the power of a dragon. And there are usually arcane signs as well. A, a proficient mage trained in the field can usually sense the dragon lurking within. Those are usually ones hired by the uh, Alinthi officials. Uh, the, Methods of which, of course, just like most things, are kept on the down low so as to not let it fall into the wrong hands, you see. Mm. However, there is a, uh, whatever it is, you cannot fully realize your draconic power without a final magical ritual to awaken your abilities and transform into the dragon. And that is a secret, uh, a secret that the Alinthi officials uh, tell me that I cannot tell you, I'm sorry. Course, very Wait, understandable. so she said there are two methods. There One are. is amounting impossible power and then doing the, the so then doing a ritual, she's yes. About? We've heard okay, one so method that's the so first far. One. Gotcha, sorry. Now for the second method, it's genetic. Nobody knows if it's hereditary, a gift from the gods, some whack mutation or what, but some kids are born lucky enough or unlucky enough in some cases, to already have the power lurking within them, with no training whatsoever. Hell, uh, some of them can transform even without going through the ritual, which at that point really just makes it more of a bureaucratic thing than anything that will actually help the dragon's abilities. Uh, regardless, they are then sworn into being a dragon just the same, and undergo a similar ritual to see uh, to those who cultivate their power, and instill some of that power into their respective dragon hearts, which even the cultivators do as well. Uh, that it may be given to the pilgrims, you, and so that you give it to the life tree, Querencia. Uh, that it may sustain itself, and blah, 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 you know that stuff. So dragons can be natural. Well, that's very interesting, but 
But in that case, how can a dragon choose a successor? Well, usually we are given a few candidates as to who has a draconic power lurking within them. Like I said, official mages of uh, the, the Alinthi government have a very secretive process and a very special way to detect who may have the dragon lurking within them. Got that dragon in me. So when you chose your successor, did you already have a sense that he would someday become capable of becoming a dragon? Well, I had a hunch. I wasn't known for sure. He was definitely one among several that I thought could be good candidates. But uh, lucky me, he had the dragon in him the whole time. I, I don't know if you're necessarily kept, uh, if you keep in good touch with the other dragons of the other provinces, but it, is how it's done here kind of the same way it's done all across with the other dragons, if you've kept in touch with them? As far as I know, uh, we're all very busy, so we don't often have time for each other, but I do try to keep in touch as best I can, send letters and the like, the messages. But uh, as far as I understand, even in Trevisetta, they all do it the same way. You know what? Uh, question to the DM. Mm -hmm. Have I heard of any dragons that aren't protectors of cities, like the bloodline ones that she's talking about? Yes, Pavita. Mm -hmm. Well, actually, she did protect the city, but she is a bloodline dragon. Um, right, oh, yeah, okay. she, because yeah, she was chosen super young. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. I, um, that was the, I didn't choose this yes. style yeah. talking, yeah. Uh, I understand if this may be a personal question, but it seems as though you are no longer capable of becoming a dragon? Uh, well, in some ways, yeah. I still have a lot of my innate special abilities that come with cultivating the uh, draconic powers, but as far as transforming, no more. How was that taken from you? And I suppose that was the procedure you mentioned. Indeed. I see. Well, I suppose all that makes a certain amount of bureaucratic sense. It's not all bad. Uh, as you can see here, we get a lifetime of financial security, the cost of uh, giving up our power, you know. I get to paint all I want. Speaking of, the mural, I'm wondering, is there a, is there a meaning in it? Um, uh, it's just whatever comes to me naturally, I guess. Uh, since I retired, I've had a lot of spare time on my hands, and I, I just wanted to try and express myself in ways that aren't just from the books I read or how I squash a blotling. And although <laughs> these portraits, they are nice, uh, this one, she points to the big mural, I, I don't know, it's just been what comes to me when I let my hand go with the wind, you know? Can I make an insight check on the mural? You may. Thank you. <laughs> I don't have proficiency in this on this character. Oh no, it was gonna be a 20. <laughs> it seems like a mishmash of colors and like, just with seemingly no rhyme or reason as to their placement or the amount of them. She doesn't even seem like she's doing really good coverage at some parts of the wall as well. Cool, then I attempt to keep a straight face even though I'm not impressed. <laughs> But uh, somebody else wanted to say something, Buck or Word? I had something, but if anyone else had something they wanted to say. <laughs> the oh, one yeah. question that we want answered is the one that she is tight lipped about. Yeah, makes sense. We're going to have to see um, Maranzio um, soon. It sounds like the two of you are at least somewhat close. Any, any sort of tips or things we should know before that takes place? Oh, uh, <laughs> yes, actually. Um, he can be a bit enthusiastic, we'll say. Uh, <laughs> you kind of have to rein him in. Surprising for a librarian, honestly. Right, okay, well, um, I don't, I don't hold on, we're gonna uh, huddle up really quick again. <laughs> okay, she <laughs> takes off her earrings again. All right, what, I think, I don't know what else to ask. I think we're done here. That I We agree. did learn a little bit. I'm, I'm very happy about that. I kind of want to get a portrait try painted. Prying her? I don't think we should. It it seems that she's... I could hit her with a hypothetical. Uh, I could hit her. But, but no, no, let's not do that type of thing. <laughs> <laughs> she's been think... nothing but courteous with us. She seems perfectly candid. Uh, if there is some fracture of the soul, I can't seem to get a read on it. It doesn't sound like she's going anywhere. If we need to kind of reveal things to her later we can but for now I think we should kind of hide our hand as much as possible 
Yes, I think that's wise. I. It's good to have a friendly face in the city. She certainly seems kind. Uh, I hope. I'm not feeling particularly insightful today. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we learned pretty much as much everything we could. I think it's yeah. probably time to move on. All right, break. <laughs> and she's been very nice about our like, take out your hearing aids so that we yeah. can, you know, scheme in front of you. <laughs> All right. I'll wave her down to <laughs> tell her that we're good. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Noticing you're huddling multiple times and she can tell that you guys are seem to be considering what you ask a lot. And you can see it on her face that she's inquisitive of you. Um, I don't know that I can provide everything that you need, but um, I mean, Aguna does have the biggest library. Anything that you might want to know more about, you can always check in there. And being the pilgrims, I'm sure that'll afford you some sort of special privileges as far as certain sections that you're allowed to go look into so as to better suit your needs and your mission. Yes, I've been That's very true. interested in researching the life tree ever since we left Sachi in the first place. So oh, then you came to the right place. It's all over us. Indeed. You we have are special all access. well equipped to read. Yeah, all of us can read. <laughs> I wanna, I wanna ask if she has special access in the library that we might not. Uh, yeah, do you want to ask her that? Yeah, we're like, um, well, of course, being pilgrims, I'm sure there would be no hold up, but, um, I'm just curious. Do you have access to some things that we might not? Uh, I would have, but um. I was an academy student. Uh, not here, though. I actually studied in Politrios for about seven oh. years. Um, Is that where you got your arm? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Sergey made yeah. me this. Oh, I was yeah. thinking that was the case. A I had heart. a hunch, but Love I didn't Sergei. talk about it. He's a good old boy. He got he his train running, did he tell him. you? Oh, really? Even, yeah. Yeah. even though that stuck... Hold on, I should hold my tongue. Oh. <laughs> that Lord Tejero... Um, oh. kind of causing some trouble. He kind of, did he lift his whole, you know? Uh, he lifted his skirt. I don't said, know if Sergei no, is the type to particularly listen to what Lord Tejero says he can and can't do. <laughs> she she looks to her left, she looks to her right. She kind of like uh, jingles her earrings a little bit mm. just to make sure that they're working. She leans in. To be honest, I don't think any of the dragons like him. But you didn't hear that from me. Certainly not. <laughs> We've actually gathered that, having spoken to most of the uh, other ones. We're now quite familiar, and I don't think anybody likes him. Uh, it is frustrating, though. As much as I don't like his methods, you can't really deny that the man does make results. At least how my sister would try to convince you. Your sister? Uh, yes. Yes. She, uh, you actually may have met her. She works as, uh, an admin, uh, down in Tigamura. Oh, oh. Ali Aliandra. Oh, yeah. Let me look through the character I'm list. looking at it. I'm looking I... at it right now. Oh, there yeah. she is. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it, it didn't. I was thinking it, I saw you before. It didn't. It didn't click because uh, you oh. you have more scars, I think, than she does. I think that might be the reason. You wear your hair differently. She's hey. quite lovely. We uh, we had some rather courteous, albeit bureaucratic, in uh, interactions. Yeah, she uh, she insists to me that what he's doing is for the betterment of the realm, and I I like to believe her. But sometimes that man, mm, she just clutches her fist a little bit. But I'm he's sorry, I, I, I talked your ear off. If you've got places to go, I won't stop you. I was wondering if you'd be willing to. Fulfill our curiosity a tiny bit. Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, of course. The other, like every pilgrim who's come across this, has had a different journey, and as you've probably heard, the blot is becoming more and more active. Active, and as much as I'm sure the library will provide us with a lot. There is probably some things they won't, and we really want to be well prepared. Prepared, and seeming we're in the business of keeping secrets. You said you had a library card. <laughs> <laughs> oh well, uh, yeah, but it does have my face on it. Ah. 
can't you just use a little magic to change it? Uh. <laughs> they use magic to create it, little one. Uh. Yes, this is a city of magic. I think we can assume that if things can be done yeah. by magic, they are being done by magic. Huh. That's too much magic. I am well, sorry. Well, it was a long shot anyway. That's You've been more than helpful. Thank you so much. Word is not just a little one, by the way. Like He's he's a full-grown adult. <laughs> oh, was that directed at me? I wasn't. <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> no, no, no. This, I got you. I got, I got your back. Word. Don't, just, don't you worry about that. She kind of uh, crosses her arms and uh, gives a little smirk. Oh, trust me, it was a term of endearment. That's what I figured. I wanted that library card. Don't be <laughs> Gail's blush. It better be. <laughs> Don't yeah. be mean to my friend. <laughs> uh, well, we've taken up en enough of your time, I think. Um, is there a place that you would recommend in terms of us, uh, I, I guess, getting settled? Oh, yeah, of course. There's a nice little inn. And she uh, kind of gives you directions. It is going to be this one. On as you see on the map, the little mug is a Yay. pleasant Yay. little tavern. Oh, nice. I'm mad I couldn't get her life We've... card. All the secrets I could have known. That's I am just... happy that we have an ex dragon who also doesn't like Lord Tejero and immediately has endeared herself to us. This is like ideal scenario. This could have been, <laughs> yes. considering how shit went right. down in Trevisetta. <laughs> Someone was nice any to us. Of allies. <laughs> yeah. Standards are so low right now. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, well, we'll I'm we'll... not quite finished. Oh, oh. never mind. I oh, would no. I, I point up at her. I would like you to be commissioned to paint a picture of my soul. Your your soul. Yes. Well, I've... aside from this mural, I'm not really one to do a lot of abstract pieces, but I'll try my best. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Then I shall... Sp oh, jeez, what is there to tell? Um, <laughs> I'll eventually rule the world. I cannot fly, but I would like to. I cannot read, and I wouldn't care to. I have a hundred thousand friends and a hundred children, and all of them look up to me as Wait. the one that takes care of everything. Well, I, if I were an archmage, I'd say you were a dragon in the making already. <gasps> he puffs out his chest. <laughs> You'd be thinking right. Mm, a piece for you, Mr. Word. God King Word. <laughs> <laughs> she does a little, like, all right, <laughs> sort of, like, nod, like, um... The rest of you are probably more socially aware than word is that <laughs> she is humoring him akin to how an adult would humor a toddler. No oh, good. At that comment specifically, God King word. <laughs> yeah. And she uh, nods and pulls up a canvas. I'll start as soon as I'm done with this part of the mural. Mr. Then God I will King stay word. And I will observe. You. Oh, you, you guys will? should go to the library in the end. Yeah, I'm hanging out here. Oh. I want to see how this develops. Oh, well, uh, I don't usually have an audience. Uh, she seems to go red a little bit. Usually it's kind of a... I, I mean, if you want to sit there and watch. All right, okay. Actually, and I, I kind of waddle over. I'm still a little weak. My movement speed is like half. So <laughs> oh, God. Hobbling. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I didn't mean to discourage you. You can stay and watch if you want. Oh, no, I'm, I'm going over to like a blank canvas. If oh, she has I see. Oh. I will create a fine work of my own. Oh, uh, all right. Here, let me get you some brushes. She hands you a few supplies. Heck yeah. And I'll be painting with the extract. And... Blair is just going like, is this, right, is this a... the plan for word <laughs> covering his... I thought he was supposed to do stealth espionage, not cozy up with an extract. I'll do that later. For now, I will see myself. Okay, Here's so now we're going to have to hope that the to the uh, the Venn diagram of tourists who are going to see Word very much alive in painting and people who were going to tell Word is dead is going to be two different circles. I have a dagger. We'll be fine. <laughs> we can make that <laughs> circle just smaller. killing all the witnesses. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone who comes in commissions a piece. You pay up front, and then I go out the back door. <laughs> I leave, I take the baby Bjorn and his diaper bag and I leave them with <laughs> Esperanza. Thank you. 
All right, he needs to eat three times a day, and you gotta, you gotta, you gotta you make sure he goes. Beans for, away from me. He's gotta go for his walkies, and he's gotta eat. Lair is just trying to do the mental math on whether the having one hundred children thing was a factual thing or like a weird metaphor or a brag. <laughs> uh, yes, to all. Of How much yeah, do I know about cobalt reproduction? Unfortunately, too much. Perfect. I've learned too much in being here with work. <laughs> All right, we're uh, good. Good, have fun. Okay, Walk so out. So we're I think we're going to leave. Stay with Esperanza as the other three leave, and while you head back up, kind of the stairway of the bridge, you actually see someone waiting for you at the very, very top. Huh? It's a familiar you face. Recognize? That uh, yes, yeah, someone you recognize. Someone uh, that could be good or bad. Almost like you just ran into her, but not quite. Oh! oh. It's oh. Aliandra. Oh no, she's The Venn diagram right. has a point of overlap! <laughs> so! And waiting at the stop of the uh, staircase. And she. He died. He's not with your sister. <laughs> she greets you. <laughs> he died with... on the way back to his home planet. <laughs> she greets you with a courtly bow. Good morning, pilgrims. I hope your journey to Aguna has not been too difficult. Quite uh... leisurely, in fact. A little stiff from the ride. Really want to get uh, to the to the inn as quickly as possible. So. Oh, of course. Um, uh, of course. But um, well, you see, I'm in quite a very awkward position as um, I'm on assignment by Lord Tahero to assist you in your quest. In fact, I have a very important message for you as well regarding such quest. If you could follow me. Mm-hmm. Can I take another crack at that insight check? <laughs> you may. Thank you. Come on, buddy. Please. Okay. Decently mid. Based on her uh, kind of the way she's looking at you, although she is giving you a smile, she's not asking. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I kind of assumed. Uh, what is the form of this message? Because, we, like I said, we... Fritz sprained her wing, and and uh, uh, we got to make sure we get some ice on it so as soon as possible. Give me the. Uh... No, actually, no. You, you I'm don't give lying. Me anything. She's... <laughs> you are lying, and she sees. I am she sees lying. A big neon it. sign goes up yeah. over your head. Mm-hmm. And she just kind I... of uh, her smile starts to fade ever so slightly. I promise you are not under arrest but you must come with me so that I can clear up a few things. Please, this doesn't have to be more difficult than it needs to be. Well, that's encouraging. More things need to be clean. <laughs> well, I suppose there's nothing to lose. Good then, if you could follow me. Where are we following her to? Yeah, I, I think <laughs> we're following her conditional really... to not going anywhere sus. So are we really going to follow? Follow her to her to hero. Really? Well, we don't know. Not like out of here. Yeah, that's why I've been saying. Where yeah, yeah. Are we no, going she to? leads you to another building on Bridgetown. Mm-hmm. And when when she does, you do notice that all around, hidden in the crowds, are guards, kind of just watching you. They're feigning being casual, uh, just like kind of talking, but you can see that they're glancing at you. Boy, that pass without trace is doing nothing today. <laughs> So I did, uh, I'll, I'll reveal behind the curtain that I, she, like, in search of you, there are very powerful mages, they had to roll for it, and they unfortunately succeeded. Found us. Curses. Oh shit, Word's all alone. <laughs> um, Word is all alone with an ex-dragon who is oh, tremendously yeah, that's powerful, true. and seems to have He's... a little soft spot for him, so, you know. <laughs> Let's hope it remains that way. Um, so, yeah, I guess. yeah, she leads you to a, an abandoned building kind of off to the side, a fairly unspectacular wooden home of some kind with uh, a few paintings hanging up on the walls in a very similar uh, style as the ones Esperanza had made. Hmm. Huh. And uh, she sits down in a chair, uh, what looks to be a dining room, and there are a few more for you that she gestures to. Yeah, I'll stand if you, if you don't mind. I'll sit, meter on her level. I'll stand behind Lyra. Yeah, I'm, we're both just standing behind you. Like, <laughs> I feel ducks. so powerful. This rules. <laughs> and as you do take your place, she whips a spell around her finger that lights the various candles around the building in a dim, a dim blue, very similar to the one that you saw in Nuba Sky Ooh, so long silence. ago. Ah, yeah. it's the sneaky, sneaky spell. 
And as she does, the hustle and bustle from the outside becomes entirely silent. Firstly, I wanted to apologize on behalf of my lord's hasty actions to assign such harsh sentences on you for simply following your curiosity. After consulting him, he has come to a compromise in letting you continue your quest as pilgrims so long as you give up your pursuit of the Underthrone and the rumored fraternizing with the Blot. How interesting. Oh, you hear, yeah, how, what a nice <laughs> thing to, for him to have done to, to allow us to continue along with this. It's interesting that he thinks he has the unilateral authority to do any of that, but I do appreciate the gesture. You really have a lot of faith in someone. <laughs> it's commendable. I, I do. So what? So what? What are the parameters of this deal? We go about our merry way, forgetting all the things we saw, all of the. And I don't know to what extent you're aware of this, but e- extremely concerning and I would say downright devious and criminal behavior being done in Trevisetta. We just kind of forget all that, go about our merry way, turn in the dragon hearts, and just forget about it. Well, and one must ask if it's criminal if the leader of a city is the one doing it. Yeah, I more, more meant that in a moral sense than I guess a legal technicality. Oh. Unfortunately, yes. We all have our reasons for doing things, and I truly believe you that you have the best intentions, but so too does my lord, as do all the lords of Alinthi. And I've seen it. This path you walk, it threatens the destabilization and potential destruction of three centuries of work. So many people now live in Alinthi as a result of the tree, and you have to trust, if not in Lord Tehero, then everyone else, all the dragons, all the other lords, that this course of action, the entirety of what is being done, is to preserve that which is around us. Oh, I think we understand that quite well. On that topic, hmm? where is your draconic companion? The little kobold. Word, was it? We lost the only guy who can lie! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> He's... dead? Presently just... indisposed. <laughs> He took it rather hard when we had to flee Trevisetta under threat of immediate arrest and possible murder. It wasn't exactly good for him. Is he still with us? No. Well, he's certainly not here. I have a question. What happened to Pavita after we left? (laughs) Well, there was a riot that broke out. She seemed to incapacitate a few guards. I was not around for the whole deal, but the reports say that she attacked many of the guards. I am willing to look at that with a bit of skepticism and give her the benefit of the doubt that it was to protect you all. However, after you fled the scene, so did she. She fled? She did. After everything died down and you were able to escape, she seemed to have up and left with a few of the Previously, previously imprisoned peoples in Trevisetta's jail. Presumably, back to old Deosia. Hmm. A cruel fate to put those prisoners through. I don't know how long they'll last out there. I don't think we should be comparing notes on cruel fates today. I'm curious. What are the general descriptions of the people she took? Well, they were... The ones infected with this new ailment that seemed to have been a result of the blot. The ones with shards, almost cracks, illuminated in a chromatic light. You may have seen a few. Yes. Yeah. Well. And what about the successor? Well, Captain Arzir, unfortunately, has been passed up for Lord Tehero. What a surprise. But the dragon declared him as successor. Yes, well, the dragon technically serves Lord Tejero. I believe it was wishful thinking on her part to believe she truly had that choice. And it is sad to say that she forsook that privilege when she abandoned her post. So let's say that we're even considering going forward with this deal. We go through with it. On the other hand, if 
we decide that we do not want to go forward with it and we reject this deal, which to me is the same deal that we've once rejected before, what exactly happens then? She s seriously looks like disappointed at the notion. She looks down, she thinks for a minute, almost like she's wrestling with a few thoughts. You must trust me that the alternative is something that I would not wish upon you. We've already lost one of our friends over this. I don't know exactly what more you're going to take away, but if we're being honest with, the ch with each other, you need to tell us what it is we're in for. Lord Tejero seems to automatically assume that his authority spreads everywhere he wishes it to, but this is not his city. It's a worthwhile question to ask what he would attempt to do while we're within its borders. I'll be honest with you. It is not just Lord Tejero who would brandish you as traitors if you were to not go through with your duties. Even your own Lord Candela would be on his side, as they are on the side of Olympia. You have to trust me that the full picture is better left unseen, but that they know what it is, and that they have the best of interests at heart. Is that the trust that you have in them? It is. And the full picture will threaten all of us. You may hate Lord Tejero or Trevor Setter or the Underthrone. You can call for a restructuring of their methods, a reformation of some of their systems, but even if you don't trust them, please trust me. Everyone is better off not knowing. Does your sister know? She yeah. turns her head and yeah. doesn't answer. She asked you a question. Well, that's not pride. <laughs> Although I do have one more question. After she forsook the powers of the dragon, did you notice any changes in her? She start, She just kind of covers her arms with both of her hands and starts kind of rubbing them. She is very uncomfortable. That Interesting. My relationship with my sister is none of your business. And it is not of your concern as pilgrims. Do you think she did what she did? out of a belief that the government saw the bigger picture. Those scars and that missing arm are a result of her belief that the people who are in power just happen to be doing so out of a, a general want to do the best for society. I don't think that you believe that. Give me a persuasion check. Okay. I believe in you. Let the spirit of word guide you. So I do have, can, can I, uh, before, before, uh, that happens, before you tell me whether I succeeded or failed, can I use one of my lucky rolls? You may. It is a new day. Ooh, I will tastier. use the, the, I will use the 17. She kind of rubbing her arms, takes them and kind of gently slaps them on the table. I can see that we're getting nowhere with this conversation. It, it just consider what I've tell, told you today, pilgrims, and you are in the place of learning. Perhaps you may learn something here in Aguna. I do have faith that you will do the right thing, but I so just ask we... that you have some faith. Well then, if you're going to give a, if you have faith in us, give us at least some amount of time to give Lord Tahero an answer. Very well. I will try to buy you as much time as I can. Thank you. But know that it is not me. It's the Lords. They will have the final say. And that this choice, it affects all of us. There seem to be a lot of those going around. I am sorry, it is a very heavy burden that you bear. I do wish you best of luck, genuinely. Well, I suppose we'll find out. And she whisks her finger, the blue fires dim, and the soundscape of Aguna fills the room again. She gives you a curtly bow, walks out the door. Everything went better than expected. <laughs> I hope, uh, I hope for her sake that, uh... Despite us being in the place of learning, she doesn't learn the things we have. 
I think it would almost break my heart to see someone with that much dedication and faith broken. I believe she already knows. She's just come to the conclusion that it's all an unfortunate necessity. The status quo must be preserved. Nobody wants to live through a forest burning down, even if the forest that grows back better harbors more life, healthier for it. Well, at the very least, she's probably bought us a little bit of time. We should try and capitalize on it. Yes, and it's very nice that we now have the, uh... We're probably no longer going to be hunted by random mages flying through the night. <laughs> at least not publicly. I still think she's quite foolish, though. <laughs> well, no arguments there. Shall we make our way to the inn? Yes. Alright. So, um... First, before we go to the tavern, let's go back to Word for a little bit, who is with yeah. the, uh, <laughs> the dragon painting. And uh, we're going to do something special now. Ooh. We're going to do uh, kind of a personal skill challenge, just for Word. <laughs> okay. <laughs> with two levels of exhaustion. As Word, you are painting. What are you trying to paint? As Esperanza mm. is also painting kind of your spirit as you've commissioned. That's interesting. So at, at first I'll just, you know, grab the, the canvas, I'll put it up against the wall, she'll give me all of her paints, and I'll stand there for like a good four minutes thinking. Mm. Word has no idea what he's gonna make. Um, I kind of want to just start and see what happens to Word. Um, <laughs> I, I, what he's thinking about now is probably everything that he has been through up until now. All, all the struggles and all the pressure that he's under, so definitely a lot of sharp lines. He's probably going for abstract. Hmm, okay. Okay, well, uh, never mind. It's, we're not gonna do a skill challenge then. You're just <laughs> painting from the soul. Whoa, harsh statements about abstract art coming out today. <laughs> Doesn't no, need I mean, skill. <laughs> yes, well, I ate your old coat of draw on that. <laughs> yep, yeah, my eight year old coat of draw. So, uh... I, I actually opened up, like, GIMP and tried to draw something <laughs> I could come up with anything. Yeah, since you're painting from the soul, um, and you're just feeling it out the similar way that Esperanza does, she notices this as well, and she, um, seemingly nods of approval, and she is doing the same on her canvas, trying to paint the spirit of you. Okay. And... How about you just roll me, like, a d20? Just a straight d20. Okay. That's how you do it. Okay. Let oh. do. You attempt to draw what's coming to your mind and just letting your arm flow, but it's not right. It's too, it looks like a cloud that looks like a shape. Like someone could look at it and be like, oh, that looks like an elephant. Oh, that looks like a dragon. It's not abstract enough. You're not meeting your, your what you're going for. <laughs> and then as I continue to paint, I realize there's too much intention behind all of my lines. So I add another layer and then there's too much complexity and I finally throw paint buckets at the wall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Esperanza sees this and, red. and she gets enthusiastic. Yeah, see, exactly, you get it. And she takes a bucket and throws it at the wall too. This is bullshit. And I like, throw a bucket at my painting and she's like, yeah. <laughs> Absolute horse manure. <laughs> 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 This is nothing. I is it for me. And you and take a look. My... <laughs> you take a look at the wall, and yeah. she goes, "I don't know. You might have a knack for this thing, Mister Word." And you take a look, and you look over at the the mural wall <laughs> beyond my painting. <laughs> yeah, and you see the whole picture, and it looks eerily similar to the ancient, undestroyed old Theosia. I knew it! I knew there was meaning in it! Damn it! That few last little in just intrusive tosses of paint and subconscious feeling and movement that both you and Esperanza tossed, it looks eerily similar to the architecture that you saw in that vision that the Prabhup gave you. But Esperanza seems just none the wiser at it. She just looks at the wall, hands on her hips, and she looks very pleased with herself, very accomplished. I, I stand there stunned for a minute. Do you recognize that? Well, uh, I don't know. It kind of looks like a bit of lights. Uh, is that uh, some sort of pillars? Or maybe they're trees. I'm not so sure. It's some nice pretty colors, though. 
uh, it's, it's... I'm not sure I could explain it, but I've seen this before. You have? It, it, it gets a little lightheaded, probably. <laughs> yeah. This reminds me of... I, I, like, look up at her genuinely. Deosia. Deosia? You mean that run-down, destroyed place? Yeah. She looks it over. Ah... I, I don't see it. Ain't old Deosia kind of rubble and soot and ash and dead roots? You know, they tried to steal the tree and, and wipe out Olinthi uh, back about like 250 years ago. It's a mercy we were able to hold him back. A uh, bigger mercy, though, and tragedy all the same what the blot did to him. I, I am so sorry. The reason we're here, the reason we came to you asking questions is because we've learned a lot more than... Well, then a lot of people would want us to have learned. And coming here, we were hoping to get further answers from you. Uh, Theosia is not what we thought. Elinthi is not what we thought. And the more we learn, the more we uncover the secrets like the ones you're choosing to keep to yourself now. They say some very loud things about what the world actually is. Give me a persuasion. And they're Ooh. asking us a lot of big questions. She kneels down to you and stares with a blank face kind of into your eyes. You're not... Oh, God, you're not pulling my leg, are you? And then immediately she winces and grabs her head. She stumbles back. Ah! <laughs> yeah, oh, doops. She puts one hand up to her head. And then she slowly gets up. I'm fine, I'm fine. I need to... Oh. What was that? I... Oh. She looks over at the wall mural. Well, that's a pretty looking mural. Did you help me with that? Oh, God. I don't remember it coming along this far. And just then, you hear footsteps coming down the stairway. I cast invisibility. Cast invisibility. <laughs> you vanish. And... I mean, you also have plus 10 to stealth, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I will load up Blackhawk. Okay. I will reload the game from my save point. <laughs> <laughs> and as I you have do, four stack. shots to fire in one turn. As you do, you see a very familiar elven woman walk down the stairway. Yeah. Hmm. It's her sister. And okay. And Esperanza, seeing you, uh, noticing that you went invisible, kind of turns around back to her sister. And uh, she goes, greets her, gives a little bit of a hug. Aleandra! And they have a little bit of a conversation together. Yeah, I don't want to force whispering. you through that. <laughs> they, <laughs> they seem start to... start whispering? I'm, I'm listening. You're listening? If okay. you want to graze over what details they're yeah, talking about. Yeah, I won't role play it out, but I will tell you what yeah. you hear. You're listening in, and it's okay. not too hard, since they, they are whispering, but just not like quiet whispers, just trying to not cause a disturbance. And they greet each other, they catch up a little bit. What are you doing out here? Oh, I'm just on some work. And she asks, uh, Aleandra asks, did you see a little red kobold around here? Esperanza seems to hesitate a little bit, thinks, mm -hmm. and she shakes her head. Yes. Oh, she's a real one. Aleandra sighs and kind of huffs in frustration. They have another conversation. What's wrong? Aleandra says that it's mm. unfortunately classified. Esperanza seems frustrated at how many secrets are kept from her. Aleandra mm -hmm. tells her that she has to trust her. They have a little bit of an argument, but then make up for it, have a little hug. Aleandra yeah. leaves the premises up the stairs again. Okay. I think I'm going to follow her. You're going to follow her? Okay. Yeah, I'll leave. You do, and we're going to see what that leads up to later as Esperanza <laughs> goes to look around and you hear her voice. All right, she's gone. You could come out now. Mr. Word? <laughs> Actually, let's follow that up now. You follow Aleandra. Oh, okay. Um, 
Uh, your stealth check is so fucking high now that you're not going to have to roll for it. You've got pass without a trace, <laughs> and you're invisible. Nothing can I have catch a, you unless they I already have plus know you're 19. There. Jesus I H. Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> unless someone already knows that you're there and uses some sort of magic to detect you, there's no way anyone can find you. Hmm. So you follow her. Oh. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I will look at what she's carrying. Is she wearing anything specific? Is she carrying any items? Okay, notable? yeah. She's wearing some official garbs, some that you've seen secretaries wear, uh, maybe some, like, bureaucrats who, who sign paperwork and stuff. And she's got a book yeah. with her, a very hefty book, and a quill on it as well. Does it seem like she's kind of protecting it? Yes, she's holding it very tightly. Okay. I have the spell locate object. I'm going to mark that fucking book. Ooh, <laughs> just right. to think about it later. Okay, yep. That book is marked. And let's put a note. Word marked. Aliandre's book. More just, yeah. I'm recognizing it so that I can cast that spell on oh, it. Oh, I see, I see. Not like this. Does the spell put a mark on it or like does it. You're just trying to keep like a photographic memory. Of I it. think locate object yeah, lets I'm, you locate I'm, a familiar object. I'm committing so. it to memory. Committing, yeah. okay. Uh, right. So I'm making sure that it is a familiar object. Yeah. To memory. All right. All right, good. Yeah, you take in all the features. You're able to get up pretty close. She is looking around her a lot. She's on the lookout for okay. something or someone. But yeah, you're able With to get With a passive down the perception. Of 19. <laughs> uh, would I also recognize all these sneaky guards around her? You would, yes. She okay. seems to be escorted by Trevisetta and House Baztan guards. Uh, oh, uh, I, I tune in. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I still have my earpiece. Mm. Oh. They're from Trevisetta. They could still be using. Yeah. Now, he's the Assassin's Creed. <laughs> <laughs> so, the odd conversation here goes that the guards are looking for you, Word. They don't believe that you're actually dead, but they're not able to find you. Uh, Aleandra mentions to keep a lookout that you might still be sneaking about somewhere. Um, but otherwise, okay. to keep an eye on the pilgrims, mostly. She is going to report back to Lord Tejero the next day, whenever she can get a... Uh, uh, an okay on using one of the teleportation circles. So she will be okay. leaving tomorrow. Um, my, the stuff I'm wearing is a little bloody, right? I was reduced to like <laughs> one hit point previously. Yeah, maybe like coagulated. It's like hard, like, you know, it's like that yeah. brown. Now. Are you going to fake a crime scene <laughs> where you died? <laughs> no, nah, that'd be too obvious. I think it would be fair that you guys like kept my cloak as a keepsake and then discarded it before continuing. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll go outside of town and drop my my main badass jacket. No! Oh, no! Mm. Just like as a clue as to your fate. Yeah, as an indicator of I, my Not to bet a game. I think that we would like you'd be like oh they they would have left a shrine to me like like put it up on a nice tree or like <laughs> mounted a little cairn of rocks like <laughs> like oh i'll just drop my cape no hold on the funeral they would have done put it on for me is actually really cool <laughs> bury me he in the really, sky he wants that to be the reality he lives in but i think when it get when it gets down to brass tacks he'll be like okay i, I need i know the exacts of what i need to do okay. not oversell myself Right. That, that's what he wishes happened. <laughs> you leave. That puss in boots he, he scene where he's eulogizing he himself die. at his own grave. Words are not enough, but you perhaps a song. Your jacket at the memorial of God King Word for the guards to yes. find. We will find the results of that. Perhaps next time. May the road rise to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do. It's the exact scene in Puss in Boots. Yep. Where he <laughs> yeah, where he's eulogizing himself. His stuff. Yeah, he sings Who a song for himself. Word will do exactly that. <laughs> I'm going to say for that word, you're going to get an inspiration. Yeah. Yay. Faking your own death. <laughs> Dying. He has to be Dying. dead. Nobody else would leave a coat this cool. <laughs> the only, it turns out the only thing that could kill Word was Word himself. <laughs> and friendship. And friendship. <laughs> okay. Meanwhile, the rest of the pilgrims, you guys go into the inn, the primary Don't public inn Don't of Aguna, suspicious. called the Catalima, who, uh, oh. where inside oh. you Tadima. see that it is being run by a seven foot tall owl and woman 
with fe with a feathery coat that silhouettes her profile into like a like a cone, and she's got a big medallion huh. with like a moon and a triangle kind of hanging across her neck, and she huh. does a big slow bow. Welcome to the Catalima. What can I do for you? Oh, <laughs> oh, that kind of cone. I <laughs> oh, love them. <laughs> good. Is this your mom, Fritz? It's a <laughs> How, like how, like I would fucking know. I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. Is this your mom? So. I don't know. I don't. I'm, I don't really get. Hello there. <laughs> I mean, I, I'll do a big, I'll do a big bow. You are new faces. Welcome. Thank you. We're in town for some uh, business of Alinthi. Uh, what sort of rooms would you have available? Oh, I've got a few, and you can see that uh, she lists out uh, several. You see the basic room is completely free. Housing is uh, free to the public, whoever wishes to stay here. Um, Damn. Can't believe these guys are neighbors with Trevisetta. <laughs> I'm going to get just a comfortable room, I Yes, think. and that'll give you a, a hit die of temp HP when you awake. When you awake. How, much, how much money do it's I an have? expensive hit die. I've, I've got some. I have enough gold. I might get the Archon Suite because extra spell slots? Yeah, yeah. Hell yeah. I should go to sleep there. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Can I... <laughs> I mean, I guess I could buy an additional room for, for work. I, I'm... Oh, actually, <laughs> Joe, I did want to know um, when I sleep. So if physically this is what the building looks like on the map, mm -hmm. I want to go around the edge and sleep on the root here. Oh, on the root. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll climb down. That's my kobold stuff. Mm -hmm. If I had even grown up here, that's where I would have lived. I see. Yes, yeah, I would say you could do that if you wanted. Really good. Yeah. And I will take my well-needed long rest again. Uh, yeah, hopefully we get to do that. And when you register I... for your rooms um, as well, yeah. she mentions, Staying here also gains you a complimentary admittance to the first three levels of Aguna's Grand Library. Ooh. How, how many levels are there? Oh, let's see. She counts on her, like, clawy hand. And she starts to go into the double digits. She continues oh. counting rows and rows Seven and rows four. and rows. Wow. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, wow. couldn't be more than uh, about two hundred. Oh, oh, so just the first three then? Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, maybe it's Bang. like a pyramid. Maybe there's mostly on the bottom. Right. Well, appreciated. Do we have like a card or something? We just you say your name at the front, or? Oh, of course. We may make that now, if you so wish. If you could step this way, and she kind of uh, escorts you over to a place where of the tavern where there's kind of like a blank white stucco wall. <laughs> We're getting our DMV pictures taken. Oh my god! I just had the most devious plan. <laughs> oh no! What? And whoever wishes to go first. Yeah, I could take your picture to assign to you your library card. <laughs> I'll, I'll go. I definitely want a library card. Okay. Yeah, me too. She uh, pulls out a, a staff from behind her, kind of stomps it on the floor a few times, and a little familiar shows up. It looks like a tiny floating observer, you know, like a, a small version, like a one-eyed uh, beholder kind of floating oh. around her. That's I wanna, I wanna, cute. I wanna nudge, I wanna nudge Fritz uh, in the in the elbow, and then I'll go behind Elmira, and I'll put two fingers up behind <laughs> her to make it look like she has bunny ears to try <laughs> to, to try and get Lyra to, to to smile for the picture. <laughs> I'm also gonna stand behind. Uh, I'm like, oh, I love this idea. I'm standing behind you, and I'm just like flapping my wings really big. It is the <laughs> most. You look like she has another wing. <laughs> The and, then I'm, like, and then I'm flexing smile. my muscles behind her because she to make it look like they're her muscles. Uh, <laughs> Lyra is trying to stare fixedly into the middle distance, but Buck is very tall, so it's not working. Make her make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> you know what? Yes. Uh, actually, since this is trying to sh like appear for your photo, let's make it a charisma save. Oh, boy. How do I impose disadvantage <laughs> on you? Haha! -ha! You cannot bring nice. me! Lara, <laughs> I am untouchable! You, you get to choose how you look in this library card. Extremely refined. Mm. 
My professionalism is unbreakable. I look good. <laughs> so, Elmira. Improbably. Only person who's ever looked good on a DMV photograph. Amazing. Elmira kind of clutches her staff and whisks it, and the observer kind of bursts into a bright flashing light, and in its place is a little floating card that she grabs, kind of waves it around a little bit. You can see there's some arcane dust on it, kind of left over. She hands it over huh. to you. You now have a library card. Yes! Marking that stuff in my inventory right now. All right. All right me, if you're done next, doing next, your... If you're done doing your whimsical little gestures, you can go up <laughs> Oh, all right. I'll go sit down for the picture. I just like, I get or very stand? embarrassed. And, like, yeah. My celebrities are like puffed, like, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> Having fun isn't hard when you have a library card. I take off my hat and then I'll just try and fix my mustache to look okay for the picture. I've never seen you without a hat. Okay, Buck, uh, give me a charisma save. <laughs> Oh no, hold on, let me find. Turnabout is fair play. Okay, you get to choose how how do you look in this library card, Buck? Uh I'm like I'm like gonna do the thing where I make my eyes like I try to look past the camera, so I look just kind of extremely deadpan to try and make Fritz and Lara laugh. <laughs> and I, look, I basically look like I'm I'm like like dead zombie. I go zombie face. Wonderful. Because I, I really don't care how I look in the photo. <laughs> I don't that's exactly what you get as the observer uh, familiar flashes and transforms into a little card. She hands it to you. You little bird. Oh, uh, <clears throat> I guess I'd hop over. I, Buck. Mm, what? Can I, can I have your hat? <laughs> oh. Uh, sure. And I'll give her the, I'll give her the hat. Cool. I take my glasses off. It's like. <laughs> Huh? Wait, take the take. I was wearing the poncho. Take the poncho too. <laughs> oh, okay. This is going to drown me. <laughs> it's like you're wearing the poncho and the hat. Yeah. Cause yeah. I'm like, well, goggles aren't allowed in photos. No, oh, of course. There's a bit more to it than simply how you look. Uh, it just tries to grab your appearance as a sort of thumbprint, almost. It can see past all the the clothing. You don't need to worry about that. All the clothing. I want to think I have a bad boy side. <laughs> Here, take the hat. I'll wear the poncho. You take the hat. <laughs> I want them to think I'm a slight bad boy. Okay, <laughs> Fritz, give me a charisma save. <laughs> you gonna look like a dork. You gotta roll that. Okay. Okay, no. Fritz, how do you try? <laughs> how do you try to look? <laughs> try. I'm like, I I tip the hat down slightly to cast a shadow, and I'm just like trying to look cool. Nothing personal. I, I, but I, I'm like, <laughs> I, I keep slightly. Your devil. I, yeah, I keep slightly <laughs> cracking a smile in the corner of my mouth because I cannot take myself seriously. Yeah, that's exactly what happens. And um, <laughs> you like hesitate for a moment while the picture is being taken. The observer flashes, turns into a card. She hands it over, and unfortunately, your profile is a little blurry because of your movements. But it is, for the most part, the gesture that you've been trying to make. But you look like a cryptid. <laughs> Welcome to my twisted what? mind. That's I think sick. that's good. Yeah, it's satisfied. All right, give me the hat back. I need the hat back. <laughs> but no, I do need a bit longer. No, no, no. Just to, I do need it back. It's good. I need to have it. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Too much bright light. Is there anything else I can help you with? I can't think of anything, but do we want to... We're buying rooms. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, we did that already, I think. Yeah, I assume uh, I didn't, Lera's... I was going to put paying, down my gold. I'm going to chat with you, Lera. Uh, do the Archon rooms let more than one person be in it? Yes. I would say Great. two people right. at max. Then, then yeah, that's Lera, fine. add 25 gold. I'll split the cost with you. I uh, can. I have a question, um, just kind of about the, just because I've never been here before. Um, I, I guess in our journeys, other than our friend here, we haven't seen a lot of Arakakra. Um, is there a lot of oh, Arakakra in, in this? I just, I just noticed there's a lot of wind oh, yeah. going around. Oh, of course, plenty of bird folk here. Arakakra, Owlin, Kinku. Uh, in fact, it's why I, you stuck out of the crowd, little birdling. You uh, seem out of your element here, despite this place being, uh, where a lot of bird folk come from. 
No offense yeah, intended, of course. I hope that your stay here is, is grand, and you might find it very pleasurable here, considering these winds uh, make the flying much, much easier. And sometimes mm. I like to go for a sword just to clear my mind. Yeah, where I'm from, you don't really see many bird folk. Um, bless my dad, he did his best to teach me, but uh, you know, I, I kind of like... Und you can understand me, but my accent is very foreign for someone who is an Aracocra speaking Aracocra. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, then I'd be, I'm happy to welcome you to consider this a second home for you. Oh. It would be interesting to learn more about, I guess, me? <laughs> of course. Well, uh, th the library, lucky for you, the second level of the library does have quite a few books on the various different cultures of peoples in Olinthi, if you'd like to catch up on that. I would. I, I highly I recommend. My friend is a massive bookworm. If, I hope you enjoy it. if you are interested in catching up on a bit of your heritage, I do recommend one called Everybody Molts. Uh, a bit of a childish <laughs> one, admittedly, but it's good to learn a bit more about your own anatomy sometimes. <laughs> do my Uncle Alina, do my feathers really look that dull? Oh no, no, no of course not. It's it's not about <laughs> that really. I've it's been, um I've been trying really hard to preen. Everyone goes through oh. these stages. Oh, and they look <laughs> wonderful, don't you worry, darling. Thank you. <laughs> I'm just kind of like kind of picking at their feather hair. <laughs> <laughs> So yes, you guys have a room for the night. It's still like, I would say, early evening at around this point. Um, and so you do have a bit of free time. I'm just going to say that you guys spend a bit of time like small talk, but uh, to wrap up the session a little bit uh, for mm -hmm. the sake of Red. Thank you. While you are hanging out in the tavern, you see someone burst through the door. With a loud, oh obnoxious... That can't be good. He's a, a, a humanoid who kind of slightly hovers over the, the ground, spinning a little bit, holding a wide brim hat so it doesn't get whisked away. And he stumbles a little bit as, as he, he steps and uh, lands on the, uh, the tavern wooden floor. And he rema uh, manages to regain his posture just a little bit. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Oh, there they are! And he walks up to you. He is a uh, kind of medium short tiefling man. Not the shortest, but he's definitely mm. below average height. Um, and he ha is adorned with a very long furry co coat and robe. Uh, he's got desaturated maroon skin, uh, shiny silvery wavy hair and a beard, and a bright kind of uh, bright pair of pink eyes behind some very round spectacles. And he spins his staff and does a very big cordial bow to you three. <laughs> Maranzio Santaloria. Oh, no. oh, he he's awesome. hot. Stop making them he's hot. hot. <laughs> Stop making them hot. Oh, he knows what he's doing. I can only take so much. Administrator of Aguna's Grand Library and Dragon oh, of Aguna. Cool. It's an honor to finally make your acquaintance, pilgrims. Oh, pleasure is all ours. Literally. Hmm. It's, I... ni it's <laughs> nice to meet you. So thanks for coming here to greet us. Yes, of course. It is an honor. And in fact, I wanted to come see you first. I heard about what happened to your companion. Very devastating news. I'm so sorry. Yes, well. Yeah, we're trying to just finish up the old mission, as it were, and move on. We'll deal with the grief of it later. Yes, of course. In fact, there is something I wanted to discuss with you later on. If you did have time, he snaps his fingers, and for five seconds, everything around you freezes. Is that five seconds from the inside or outside? From the inside. There are eyes and ears everywhere. Whenever you have the chance, meet me at my tower. And then everything resumes. Oh, <gasps> what the fuck? Well, I'll be excited to discuss more with you. The library is of great interest to us. Of course, you've inspired me to make a few 
to studies of my own because of your travels, I've taken a deep interest in the other lords and the other lands all across Elinthi. Elinthi. And thankfully, I am so excited to show you the Grand Library. Take your time, enjoy the city, and thank you again for coming here. Big fan. <laughs> and us to you, good sir. And he uh, gives another little bow, picks up a few of the things that he blew into on the way in, like a few papers that like brushed off the shelves, and uh, he tips his hat, and a few people just kind of, ah, oh, you, kind of like throwing their arms at him. <laughs> And that is going to be where we end today's session. Woo! Ooh. Surprising Ooh. number of allies in this city, considering yeah. the shit that went down last <laughs> yeah, time. I think we just spent too anyway. long in Trevisetta that we yeah. were like, oh god. Spies Everyone everywhere. <laughs> no one can be trusted. And then it's like, what's up? You can trust me. I'm great, actually. Yeah. <laughs> also, there are spies everywhere, but not me. Yeah, but not, not me. me. You can trust me and my winning smile. <laughs> <laughs>